What do you think, dude? <laughs> Come back, buddy. It's my mistake, young farmer's mistake on. First thing we're gonna do is uh, gonna take the skids throughout, give them a couple of bells of hay. Uh, right now they are chasing that green grass hard, uh, but it doesn't take them long to catch up to it. So, And then we're going to load something up that Sam built for me that we kind of constructed together. He built it for me and came in kind of came up with this idea to catch calves. I'm gonna get some hay out to uh, the Big Joe herd and my yearlings, heifers, and the Haas group. Um, we're gonna load this up. We're gonna take it to mom and Kevin's to the Dunbar herd. Let's get to work. In case you guys didn't know, it's take your wiener to work day. I've got Ty with me, 15 years old. All right, Ty, you ready? Got the uh, yearling heifers and the Haas group taken care of. Got them a bell of hay. I know it looks really green out here because we've been we've got so much rain um, this late winter and early spring. 
it's been really nice actually and it is green here and they are chasing it uh, but we still have a ways to go before the growing season actually hits and we start getting those native grasses pop up um, so uh, we still do have to put out hay and luckily I, I think we're gonna we're set on hay and we're gonna have enough to get us through probably March and April um, at least and we'll see if we keep getting moisture which is a good start for the summer because we've had the past two summers have been really rough anyway so uh last bell of hay out for today going to the big joe hurry let's go see where they're at You can see the bosses of the group here. Got the 32 cow, Big Joe. Another cow here, I can't tell who that is. Oh, here's the 32 cow. There's one of the Texas cows. Texas, Texas, Texas. Man, these mamas have came a long way. We'll be a first timer to have a baby, hopefully, at the Ponderosa. This will be her second, and it'll be her first here at the Ponderosa. We got a roll here. That's a 54 ounce jumper. So you got Texas, 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 and Texas. And then here's the rest of them waiting patiently so I can roll this out for them. Let's get it rolled out. Thor, what's up, Thor? Say hi to everybody, buddy. I think they all miss you. You doing good, aren't you? Huh? Please, Thor. When I say Thor, that's because Brooks can't say Thor. I think it's funny, but his name is Thor. He's doing good over here at the Lynch residence. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bring your winter dog to work day. Thank you. 
So we just got to a, a Mom and Kevin's the Lynch residence and uh, the Dunbar place, we call it the OG, you name it, it's got several names. Uh, but we've got our new uh, creeper gate. So if you guys know what a creep feeder is, then you'll know what I'm talking about. This is not a creep feeder, but it is the same idea and same intention of a creep feeder. We don't have creep feeders. We do have feed bunks, but we don't have creep feeders. And so what we've done here is Sam and I, uh, along with Kevin, uh, we kind of engineered this, which it's, I say engineered. This is just ranch welding is all it is. It's just ranch ideas, right? So what it is, is we came up with this idea to, I wanted to be able to catch the calves out there with, uh, the Dunbar herd. So basically what uh, happened is in like August 20th and 21st, I still have it in my notes, um, we had some calves last year. And uh, it's Eleanor, uh, Flo, my quapaws, all of my quapaws, um, they got pregnant late. And this is, if you guys remember, I was really worried about if Big Joe did his job or not. Well, then I got him semen tested. He came back positive, And then like, Two weeks later, it rained. And when it rained, in the middle of this hard drought that we've had, uh, we had like five babies within like 36 hours, and it was like fast. It's crazy how it all works, right? Um, well, those babies now are, are past weaning age, and they're getting big. Well, we're about to uh, work bison coming up in a couple weekends, and uh, second weekend of April, we're working them. And so what we did is, uh, what we did is we made this. I had Sam, since he was up here working on the barn and whatnot, I went and had, I went ahead and had Sam weld us up this creeper gate. And what it is, is we've used, used a scrap piece of four by four tube in here. And then I did have to go buy some two inch tubing is what this is made out of. The whole thing is just two inch square tubing. Square tubing is much easier to weld on. And uh, I didn't get the heavy gauge. I got the 14 gauge on this two inch. Uh, it shouldn't take a lot of beating. The only person, the only one that is gonna give us problems, especially over here, is gonna be Dunbar. Dunbar always, you know how he is. He just, he's a character, he's a male, and uh, he always tries to prove his point that he is the top dog here. And so that's fine. Uh, and he'll be a little upset because the idea about this, uh, there's an orange gate right down here. It's our lane. It's how we catch our bison before we work them. Uh, but because we're going to work them here in a couple of weekends, um, I really want to get those calves caught and sorted. And we can even, Kevin and I can work them on the side and knock them five out. And then my plan is to take them to the Ponderosa. By the way, if you see this sticking out, uh, I just it's my microphone, by the way. That is a magnet. And if it's super windy... I like to wear this. So right now it's actually not that windy, but uh, it's kind of stormy weather. Anyways, um, so if you do see it, that's what's bulging out of my chest here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we got a little spot right here for a chain to wrap around. I don't know if I have any chain. Uh, but uh, the idea is to wrap chain around it right here and here. Uh, but replace a gate basically. And this is a 12 foot panel is what we did our 12 foot gate section and we just put them on you guys like my weight just uh, uh, coming over here i brought some uh feet i brought some cubes to the dunbar herd and i thought well i'll just put it on the, the trailer here to weigh it down i've got a strap and one strap was good enough but i felt a little bit more comfortable if i put the feed sacks on there so that's what i did and um so we got the feed sacks on there to weigh it down a little bit um, and I want to say it's so uh, 50 something inches tall. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but we put some legs on it so we could pick it up with the tractor or the skid steer, which is how I loaded it over at the Ponderosa with the skid steer. And, uh, we're going to test this thing out because I really want to catch these calves. I want to see if this works. And this may be something that I can take to the Ponderosa and use it. Now I can bring it over here and use it, uh, back and forth, however we want to do it. But uh, Dunbar is the only one I think may hit it with his horns and because he's mad because he wants to be able to come in and get the feed because we're going to set this up where Kevin's going to be able to feed these calves. They're going to come in and essentially the idea, 
theoretically, how this would work is they're going to come through here, these little gaps here, and we're going to be able to catch them. We're going to shut the gate on them and be able to catch them. That's the idea. Hopefully they don't see us running around basically when we try to catch them. But we're going to start a routine with them. Um, we've got a couple of weeks to get this done. We want them to start coming into this area and then we eventually catch them. This will all make more sense once I get it over there. So we're going to take the tractor right here and we're going to get it set up and see if we can uh, catch some calves eventually. dangerous with you, Ty. I have to put my wiener down. Okay, you hang out in here, okay, buddy? Dunbar! He's gonna come in here, I know he will. I need that to stay back. Dunbar! Come back, buddy. so here's the idea this is our lane how we catch our bison that run through here this is an old existing dairy barn that uses just as a nice little cover for them to get away from weather and whatnot um, but got this lane here they come up in there in the original corral and catch area that's how we catch them kind of towards my truck and then we can sort them in pens up in there but uh, so now what we did here is I was able See, one of the reasons we made this light is I, you could see it. I could pick it up and move it myself. Um, the heaviest part on this is this four-inch tube in here. Um, and Sam capped it for us, which is really nice. But I could pick it up, and I could move it to get it on this side. Because um, if anybody, it's going to be him that's hitting against it, okay, hitting against this post. I didn't want to put it on the inside, plus this gate's in the way. I'll have to tie that back can't swing it out this way because he animals like him 
will beat this. Um, he's knocked off, he's knocked this one off the hinges several times. You can see we've had to move it, or he comes over here and bangs it several times, but. Um, you can't leave gates open or free because goofballs like this guy will play with them, basically, and make a lot of noise. And if you guys know Dunbar, Dunbar is the character um, of the group. And then here, again, we've got it on this side. And all I need to do now is wrap it in chain. That's what this little uh, gap is for, and latch it. Uh, should, be, should do bottom and top, realistically. Uh, just because of animals like him. The cows, they'll give it some attention, but they won't be able to um, really put a lot of, they could if they wanted to, but it's just Dunbar is being Dunbar. He likes to mess with stuff. Hey buddy, can't get me through here, can you? What I'll do is I'll take some of his chain. You can see Kevin went ahead and latched, just put a chain around it just in case because Kevin has deals with Dunbar more than me. Um, so. Anyways, but the idea is for the little guys like this one right here is to come through here. This is Eleanor's baby. A standard width on a creep feeder is 15 inches wide. Um, so what we did is I told Sam, we probably need to go a little bit wider because if we need to catch yearlings, we can do that. And if we need to really adjust this for position or to catch calves, yearlings, whatever, we could come through here and put a bar across here if we wanted to. So we've got a 20 inch gap here. And then on the edges, we've got an 18 inch gap, but there's plenty of room and you can see a little calf coming to check it out on this freestanding gate. Hopefully it works. And so the idea is for them to come in here. And what we'll do is I'm about to set up a little um, feed trough over here and Kevin will be able to pour the feed in it. And these guys will come in and out of here to start eating feed. And then the idea is to come around somehow and while they're eating and catch them right here. This is the same way we catch the big herd, um, the adults. Uh, with Dunbar in them. So that's the idea anyways. Um, hopefully it is not too big for cows to get in. If it is, if we do have issues, we'll have to come back and like I said, add a bar right here and the calves can go underneath it and keep the cows or adults from trying to come through there. Hopefully the cows don't try to get in there. Um, I know some of you are probably looking at this and going, Dusty, that's too wide. Dusty, that's too wide. 20 inches. Well, I didn't want to build it too small and then we would be you know it wouldn't we'd be in a bad position if it was too small so if we did build it a little bigger we may have to make adjustments to it so these little guys can fit in there and the big gals cannot so we'll see how it works i don't know we uh, i hope uh i hope it's not too big here when i pull out and put a bunk up they're so curious i guarantee you these calves will at least give it a test run and the cows may stick their head in there as well not sure, but they're, these animals are so interested. They're already interested. They'll definitely want to come check it out. Um, but I want to see if the calves can come through here now. So I'm going to pull the uh, tractor back out and um, put a feed bin up, and we'll pour some feed in it, and we'll see if these calves will come up. So There you go. And this is what I didn't want to happen. Guys, be ready for the next video. Let you know how it worked and what happened.